Yeah, I, I think his name is Macaulay. Now, this man is scary. He held the first shelter hearing for my child because they said that domestic violence is happening in the house. Now, look how this is hilarious. My girl looks white. There's domestic violence happening in the house and I'm not arrested. You know, I mean, that alone should tell you that they're just lying because in Jacksonville, Florida, if a black man beats up a white woman, you go to jail. The cops might even beat you up too, okay? And they don't have no evidence of that, but they're just saying things and because I was charged with a domestic violence in the past, um, it is believed that I am guilty already. So they had a shelter hearing. And the file that they presented to this same Judge McCauley, it's the file, uh, in other words, this child was born in 02. And they have a file that was created in, in 1999. They put my child's name on, but the file is about another child. And the file is replete with abuses and neglect and the whole nine yards. So he said, yeah, there's probable cause to take this over for trial. So that's how it started. So the judge, they get the judge to order that the mother must leave the home. And they told the mom, the, the department chair and families told the mom, you don't have to leave. He will take the child and go to some motel. Now, I don't have that kind of money to spend like that. Okay. And plus... I am driving a school bus, plus I'm doing yards. Her grandmother was at our place, so I left the child with grandmother and I went to work. So the mom, they told her not to leave, she's hanging around. Then they come back and they said, they found the child with her mom alone. And so they took me to another shelter here. And they didn't provide us with no attorney as according to the law. And um, they hug winked us and then, you know, the judge said, I commit the child there and the trial is on. So. But the same Judge McCauley, I had made a motion to hold this department chair and family's person for contempt of court because she lied in court. It's in the record where she took her child saying that the child was with the mom alone and in court she agreed that this was the case. So she lied, you know, to start the thing. So, and, and in bogus file, he said, no, he's not going to um, uh, do no, none of that. And while I'm on my case, they issue me a summons to come back to court for another hearing. I mean, I'm saying, like, you got to send this to my home. You just can't serve me when I come to court. But I know the date, of course. They never serve me, but I have to show up because, you see, the deal is, if I don't show up now, he's going to hold me in contempt of court and uh, hold me in a failure to appear. Then he could now come and order me to go for psychiatric care because he can say that I'm, I'm exhibiting sort of a mental problems and I kind of, like, scouting the, the, the court laws or whatever. And then I put some drugs in your food so that when they harass you in court, you might fly off the handle then to say, oops, we got him. Sentence you to, to go and see a psychiatrist. You know, they're going to do it. They're going to put something in the water or in the drink or in the cookies or whatever. Tell you, we run late, get yourself something to drink. We wait. And then the next thing you hooked up psychotically and bam, they got you. That's how they do it in Jacksonville, Florida. And this judge here is one of the gateway judges with the, with the scampishness they're doing down there and taking away people's kids. I'm asking the federal government, the Justice Department, the Congress to look into what Jacksonville is doing. They're violating our federal right to liberty and to the right to our children and they're taking us to court in a civil trial when they could lie and they could do everything else, okay, but still, although you, you're not going to jail, they're taking your children away for 18 years or whatever. So, I mean, if they're going to charge you with a crime of child abuse, shouldn't they try you in a criminal way so you have a right to attorney, you have a, a right to a jury trial? I mean, there, there's something else in Florida, man. And I guess the federal government is afraid of Florida, you know. Florida might secede if they, they get them too much problems. I mean, Florida won't have an income tax regime so that the paying lower salaries, one, and they have a low quality of life. They don't have the money to provide a lot of services that people need. So where they get the extra money from is taking your kids away, put them in foster care, get federal monies. Also, they'll arrest you and take you off the street and take you to jail to get some more money. So I think the Justice Department needs to look at what Florida is doing. They will come into your yard and, 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 and encourage you to go and find something, some drugs or some prostitute for them and lock you up for directing traffic. You know what I mean? This is what they're doing in Florida, in Jacksonville. So the Department of Children and Family, as far as I'm concerned, is, um, uh, you know, it's a, a RICO organization. The state of Florida is RICO.
they, they have so much racket and so much corruption going on down there that I just don't understand how it can collapse yet. Because when you come to that level of corruption, where you abusing the innocent children, Jesus said, suffer the children to come unto me and forbid them not. Because people that abused kids, it would be better that they had committed suicide, he says. Tie a male stone around your neck and, and drown yourself because he's going to really send them straight into hell. But I don't care if they can go to hell. I just don't want them to take my child. Give me back my child, Florida. 